Welcome to San Diego Market Movers with the question of the week. Today we have Kiki Jones from Compass. How are you, Kiki? Good. Thanks for having me. Well, it's such a pleasure to see you again. Yeah. So with this historical low inventory market, what kind of expectations must you have for your buyers? You don't want to create that buyer fatigue, people spinning their wheels. So I like to, you know, sit down and have a frank conversation with the buyers and you know, in this market, you're not necessarily buyer against seller, it's more so buyer against buyer. So you really have to set them up for, you know, shortened contingencies and going into these properties knowing that the list price may not be the highest of what is going to be turned in by other buyers. So it's really setting up this, those expectations. And when you're going to see different properties, you know, you walk in and maybe that's the max of their pre-approval and you just have to tell them that there's likelihood that there's going to be offers that are higher. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. What about, uh, so you mentioned pre-approval. Oh, definitely. How about, uh, you know, proof of funds with these buyers, not only the expectations, but if they want to win that house, how, what do they have to do to impress a seller? So getting your ducks in a row is paramount in this market. You have to have everything ready to go, everything current, and you know, your agent should be educated enough on the market to know that you have to present that with like a ribbon. Now they're not allowing, you know, the personalized love letters as much as we used to, unfortunately. Right. So it really comes down to writing a clean offer, not asking for a lot of concessions and shortening those contingencies. So your offer will really stand out for the seller and for them to know that it's gonna be a smooth, quick transaction. So when your clients do find a house, you're probably telling them, hey, you got to act now. There's no more sleeping overnight, thinking about this, <laughs> and best and final. Unfortunately, you know, it is one of the biggest you. decisions people will make, but and they have to make it on a, a split decision. The, the good side to that is, you know, these contracts are built with contingencies. Even though they may be shortened, you still have the ability to cancel or pull out if something comes awry that you don't like. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, it's always a pleasure having you on the show. All right. Thank you. That was Kiki Jones with Compass with San Diego Market Movers with the question of the week.